Okay. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Meeting. That's going to be about five minutes late, so we're going to get started because not really a lot on your time. Mr. Irwin. Here. Mr. Duquette. Here. Mr. Douglas. Here. Mr. McDonald. Here. Like uh, Mr. McDonald said, Mr. Fever will be here shortly. Uh, Chuck, our dog control officer, Bob Glenn, our, our zoning officer, Courtney Cato, our water and super, water and super, water and sewer superintendent. Um, Ms. Barber, our confidential secretary of the board and deputy town clerk, Mr. Farrell, our highway superintendent, Tyler Jarvis, our deputy highway superintendent, and Helen Nurska, our historian, and did I forget anybody? Oh, yourself. I am the town clerk. Um, and I believe that Kristen Marino was excused, and yep. I believe that Mr. Bruno is. Excused, yep. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first thing on here tonight, and like I said, it should be a hopefully a quick and short one. Uh, motion and discussion to accept all department heads, water, sewer, Belcor, highway, town clerk, dock control, youth department, zoning codes, supervisory report, court, website, banking report, and JCO. Make a motion by Jim. I'll second. Where? There it's good. Yes. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Number five, I need a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the public hearing of May 29th. So moved. No. Sorry. Jim, any questions on that? Diane, good? I just wanted to tell you that if you, when you read them, it doesn't matter, but just to explain is that I asked Mr. Frazier, who was very, very kind when I emailed him, to do a summarization for me. That's why it was stated the way it was stated, because what I know about this water project, you could put in a thimble. So that's how we could get it. Okay, just so that you know why it was written that way. Speaks very well, Chris. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> a motion to accept the regular board meeting of May 29, 2014. Jim? I'll second. Eric? Any discussion? Good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Moving on to number seven. Our community input. Anyone? Are we on that band? Anyone want to speak before community input? Yeah. Moving on. Uh, number seven. Resolution discussion. Resending resolution. Number 24.05.13-8, um, and that's rescinded, Pam, for? Um, it's being rescinded because uh, General Carbon Company backed out and sent Courtney an email that for some reason they couldn't do it anymore. Okay. I'm sure the law is better on my carbon. I, they sent two guys out. They said they didn't have the right equipment, and he sent something out, they left, and then about a week later, they told me they were notified by their crews that it was a job they couldn't do. Okay. What's the difference between two bids? Uh, I think $4,000. And we're going to board the, the bid to yeah. right after this one. The, the next highest, I think, was $4,000 a high. Thirty-one thousand was the lowest. The next, this one was thirty-five six. So forty seven hundred dollars. And then forty-two through sixty is the third. Yeah, so it's four thousand more than the last bid. That obviously got out of it after we awarded it because it was the lowest bid. So I need a motion and a second for the resolution to rescind what we we'll honored. You know what we made a motion for last time, and what they back up. I'll make that motion. No, the motion. <coughs> second. There, second resolution, Diane. To rescind the resolution 
05.13-8, approving the General Carbon Corporation PLLC proposal for the service to remove the spent non-hazardous activated carbon and the replacement of light materials and authorizing the supervisor to execute the same. Whereas the town board is acting to rescind the prior resolution 240513-8, which was approving the General Carbon Corporation PLLC proposal now, therefore, be it resolved that this body rescinds town resolution 24-0513-8 effective immediately. Any discussion at all? Okay, roll call. Back. Mr. Ducat? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Irwin? Yes. And Mr. McDonald? Yes. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. I need the Great. I need a motion and a second for the resolution to accept the proposal um, for the next company that was second in line at 35600 Make it. Uh, Jim Douglas. Second. Eric. A resolution approving the Carbon Activated Corporation proposal for the service to remove spent non hazardous activated carbon and replacement of light materials and authorize the supervisor to execute the same. Whereas the town board has three votes. For the service to remove spent not hazardous activated carbon from three four thousand pound absorbers in the replacement with an equivalent amount of GAC price include the removal and reactivation of spent carbon should the spent carbon be assumed with the end of the activation pricing. Also soon as the time approval provide corporate requests. Whereas the corporate carbon activated corporation was the second lowest bid for the services and replacement of the activated carbon materials, the original lowest bidder back down, and therefore be resolved said proposal for carbon activated corporation for the total estimated cost of thirty five thousand six hundred dollars. Is approved for the above mentioned project and the supervisor being hereby is authorized to execute said agreement. The result of this resolution shall take effect immediately. Any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Ducat? Yes. Mr. Irwin? Yes. And Mr. McDonald? Yes. More capable of doing it, correct? I know they can have yeah. done it before. The other two companies that were on that list have done it before. Okay, moving right along. Number nine, the uh, discussion to have on here, um, not everyone knows, I don't know if everyone knows, but at least we get it out there to the town people. Um, JCO uh, moved on uh, Thursday and Friday was mostly the biggest move over to the school church um, to give them more access to people going in and out, bigger parking lots, um, and just, I hate to say it, but a place that has windows too. Um, the basement was always obviously a place for it, um, but at the same time, it has outgrown, and and that was their choice. There was no reason that we, or I was told, to talk to them uh, on the phone over and over about it, just to make sure it was nothing that, you know, they were being forced out or anything. It's just a better fit for them. The only thing that they have to pay for over there that they didn't have to pay for here is phones. And I don't know about electricity. I, I don't know about because I don't know how you. Well, I heard it on the phone, so if you heard about electricity, yeah. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, pretty much out of course. Because that'd be hard. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hard to determine though. What? <laughs> yeah, our, funding, our funding is going to continue as the same. Funding would continue as the same because, as you know, other towns, they're in churches, they're in buildings, or they're all over. It doesn't have to be in the in the town of Peru, you know, in the build in the, the building itself. Um, so I would say that the funding would stay the same. If they ask for an increase this year, I don't know. That'd be you know, they asked for an increase I think for the last two or three years. Okay. Um, I'm sure they will ask as anyone. Yep. Will. Um, so we can say it was effective today, just for. Yeah, effective today. The JCO has moved over um, okay. over to the other. No. Do we have any input now that they've moved? I know before they would they were taking a couple of grand sometimes, and then they didn't leave us. So I would call it. We still have the same. We still have the same input. I mean, we're the ones funding. If they start shutting down during certain days like we have had in the past, from being short workers or having to go to meetings and stuff, we have this, we still have the same. You know, we call them up and say, hey, listen, what's going on? I mean, say it's still a claim. That doesn't change. Okay. The contract's a contract. If they don't fulfill the contract, I'm sure Matt can tell, tell you, like, you know, we can do the same thing. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Um, 
We do times. have to figure out what to do about the foam now, because they're still, whether we want to just port it over there, or how are they going to handle it with the parish center? Because what, what she's doing now is going down and checking it mm -hmm. every so often. Yeah, I'll probably keep it on for until they get, I know their phone servers, I don't know if it was going to be instantly, because if she's still checking, obviously it's not done yet. So I can check with them tomorrow and just ask them. I don't think they figured it out yet. Yeah, just ask them, you know, when, well, I think they called, but I, obviously everyone's like a couple weeks behind. Well, we have checked to see when it's going to be turned on over there, and obviously, I mean, it costs pennies, you know, to keep it on for them for a month. If we have a yeah. question for Jackie Black, she could answer that. Yeah. Um, it'd be good if they could keep that number though, because they've had that number for years. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. Yeah, everybody knows the same number. Do you have any thoughts about what's happening downstairs? Nice that the historian's office is down there. What is, any plans for anything to go in there? Is there any historic boats we could move in there for you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else at the end, just all happened on Friday, Friday, so it's all okay, pretty much just happened Friday. Just happened Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you know that. Okay. Look for us. So, little TLC goes a long way. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, anything else I on have, that? I have the back down there. <laughs> I don't know if it's big enough. <laughs> it, was, it was always a small place to get into here. Um, other than that, anything else on JCO? I didn't tell their business. It was nice at one point years ago. I am good. Downstairs it used to be quite nice years ago. Yeah. 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 I was on the phone with nice somebody who's on Telegraph Road. Yeah. 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 I was on the phone with somebody who I was driving out with somebody who was on Telegraph Road. And I don't know much about the situation over there, but she's wondering if it's possible to put a one way signal up. That's an easy answer. Uh, where the roads go? Yeah. That is actually gone from the head wall now. To the other side of the head, uh, okay. center line. Yeah, that last she, train. she also heard it was not going to be fixed until 2026. That, that is the quickest I brought the contract was here. That uh, I'll give you her number. You can talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I talked to several people. Okay, I'll give her a couple weeks. I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. I'll give her a couple weeks. The last one I talked to just lived on the other side. So it's. You know, but it's time you get the permit if you're looking at it here. And then I told her I'd ask. <laughs> Nothing moves fast with the Army Corps. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that was easy. Sorry, sorry, Matt. No, no. I'm no. asked to. Yeah. No, it was uh, um, Eagle Nest, uh, from Dangerous Dogs, they want a couple hundred hours. You know, it's from 500 to 700 hours um, for Dangerous Dogs that we get. Obviously, we have no choice. To me, that's still a reasonable, very reasonable number for what the Chaga runs into problems or we run into problems. It's local, it's not, you know, in the or Messina. Like Dave used to have to go once in a while. So that they want for twenty twenty five. Yeah, for twenty twenty five they want they're going up a couple hundred dollars. We all <coughs> we all know what's going on. Uh, John wrote an article today about Lemmer's SPCA. Diane talked to Lauren Parsons. I talked to her too last week. Um, we are one of the three towns are keeping, thank God. I mean, obviously it's in the town approved, but it doesn't mean you have to, you know. But uh, thank God we're one of the towns because I tell you, the other towns, they're going to be scrambling and they were going to give them 30 days, but they gave them 90 days just because it's such a shock. Um, but the state came in and the head of the um, uh, Agon, Agon Market came in and told them they were way, um, you know, way over. <clears throat> overworked and not enough for the facility. So, what the county is going to do, that's a big discussion for a long time coming, I'm sure. Chuck. Sure. Okay. Bob. One thing you mentioned Elmore and the preliminary talks, they're talking about the expansion down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't need money right now. <laughs> That's always a good yeah. Well, no, Lori talked, she called, I had yeah. a long yeah, visit yeah. with her. Yeah. She, like, 40 um, minutes visit when she called. Ty. We were pretty busy last week, even though Mike left us keep the roof up. So uh, we all survived. Uh, pretty much, we took the time to service some equipment, 
get some trucks back up to par because obviously we're pretty busy, so some of that stuff gets pushed aside, so we had time to do it. Um, so yeah, you guys are busy, busy, busy. Thank you. Helen. Uh, we have our next history chat next Monday at 10, and um, we'll be sh I'll be sh we'll be sharing our the uh, tapings with you all once once they're edited and we're ready to go. So you will see how uh, people seem excited about it. I also um, and so if you have any names of people that you think that we should be talking with, please let me know. Uh, Bob McGee was in today. And he, could, he, he was supposed to be chatting with us on, on Monday, but he can't. But he's also volunteered to give a tour of Peru. I, he said, I said, well, how long would that be? He said, oh, only a couple of miles. So he's willing to give us a two-mile tour of downtown Peru, the history of it. So, you know, we're integrating nicely, I think, with the community. Drop there, they can 
you know, just take it out and set it out the ground. They have a water breaker or whatever they need to their crop. So, <coughs> the grant paperwork, I don't know what the time frame on that because we're just getting into it. I know the paperwork has got to be in, in sometime in July. So, But ADK Action is going to help me with that. So. Yeah, I think it would be good for you or maybe Mike to explain. I get comments from readers, how come the work was, I know the answer, but maybe, well, I wasn't the work done at the same time as the other bridge. And that had to do, I be with. Point by kids. Uh, when we originally talked about that, uh, but we filed. We filed Bridge New York, too. Uh, we filed Bridge New York, I forget how many times on the previous one, and we didn't get it. So the town, the town funded all of that one, uh, which originally when I started with that one, I wanted to go back like it was across Sullivan Road, get Sullivan Road back open, and then back across uh, Telegraph, which would have been a 40, 50 foot in one span and a 60 in the other, but because when they had the floods in 96 or 98, whatever that was replaced, they went one span across all the roads, and they won't let it, wouldn't let us put it back. So, uh, time that project uh, came about, uh, it, you know, the telegraph was already shut for several months there. Uh, that was kind of the. And you were hoping to get grants for the second bridge, right? We put it three times for the second one, and we 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 didn't get it again. All right. But that the second one. I started four years ago, so we, you know, we start four years ago, but you start kind of a year ahead to file for the following yeah. Don't you have three houses in between two? Yeah. One of them yeah. trapped if you call it out the moon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, Bill was one <laughs> Bill, uh, Carl was one of them, so yeah. it just, it is what it is. It's just, <laughs> On, on the roads, I hope the state paves along here. That apron on the other side is real bad, yeah, very horrible. bad. It's horrible. They told when I called them, they not right now. Not really? Right now, it's no, and I think they're putting more thought into how much blacktop they actually need out here, possibly. Yeah, I'm not for sure. I can't say that for sure, but hmm. it, they just made a comment like this was being looked at closer to. Yeah. There was a guy coordinating with the state truck, kind of patching that today, but I noticed, I mean, it was like, I mean, he was just like, you know, throwing snow in the ocean. I mean, he was there with a little pickup trying to... Bad all the way along. Yep. Anything else? Other business stuff? Um, all the comments and agenda items? Not moving along. Resolution discussion of a June 4th, 2024 bills. The motion in the second. Jim? Check. Mel? Uh, resolution authorizing the post office payment of certain claims, bills, and invoices to the town, whereas the town board has reached an obligation to follow claims, bills, and invoices for services rendered to goods provided to the town in May, June 2024. From town approved vouchers for May, June 2024, number 2024 through including number 2024 after track dated June 6, 24. For the dollar amount total, it was $109,422.50, up at $13,737.89 those wired credit cards are prepaid, and $95,685.61 is paid for May, June 2024. Whereas the town board by secretary of bills and invoices to be acceptable to the former reasonable amount, now therefore be resolved that payment of the aforementioned claims, bills, and invoices is approved, and the supervisor being hereby is authorized to make such payments immediately and be further resolved. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Roll call. Mr. Irwin? Yes. Mr. Ducat? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. And Mr. McDonald? Yes. Okay. Um, I need a motion to adjourn to executive session or briefly um, for personnel issues, so I will make the motion. Second. Jim Douglas. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. No action anticipated? No action will be coming out of it. Okay.